What's going on Z Nation? Zade here on ZSPN and today guys I'm going to be talking about uh, the Lakers as concerns uh, the updates of uh, the suspensions for uh, Brandon Ingram, Rajon Rondo, and for Chris Paul. But before anything, like always, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. Now, as it concerns for um, the Lakers, uh, uh, as it concerns for uh, Rondo and Brandon Ingram and Chris Paul, uh, the whole situation is right now is um, pretty uh, pretty damning for uh, both teams especially for the Lakers uh, as of right now according to uh, Adrian Jornowski of, Z of uh, ESPN uh, he reportedly um, said about uh, as concerns for suspension wise um, Brandon Ingram is going to be suspended for four games Rondo is going to be suspended for three games and as a concern for um, the Houston Rockets guard Chris Paul, uh, he is going to be suspended for two games. Now, obviously, we I, you know, before I, I uploaded a video for the Lakers game against the Houston Rockets, um, I did my research and I saw some videos and some enhanced videos of you know Twitter and what people were basically reporting uh, about was that um, uh, is all pretty clear that uh, I'm not sure for Rondo uh, you know for him spitting on um, on uh, Chris Paul it was pretty obvious and they really enhanced that and there's also history between those two so obviously they looked at this as sort of serious uh, investigation about it and um, for some for obvious reasons guys uh, it looked like it was a spit but uh, some people were kind of saying that you know Mello was the he, he's the one that accidentally spit at um, you know Chris Paul, but uh, there's no evidence or no uh, indication that it really happened. And you can obviously see, uh, and it, you guys probably can check it out on Twitter on any sports sites that re really clearly shows that you know either if it was accidental or if it was intentional. Um, Rajon Rondo spat at uh, Chris Paul, and obviously he's unacceptable. And I pretty, I'm pretty glad that these um, suspensions are really light. I was sort of uh, worrying that it's going to be much more, maybe five to eight games, but it was not anything serious whatsoever. And I'm pretty glad that uh, it's less than I expected. And uh, obviously the Lakers. Uh, uh, they're going to play without them and obviously on the scheduling uh, it's going to be not so much difficult for the Lakers uh, obviously they're going to play against um, I believe on Monday they're going to play against the San Antonio Spurs uh, it's going to be I believe an away game or a home game and then the next one will be the Phoenix Suns next one will be the Nuggets and the other will be also the San Antonio Spurs and uh, that's a total of four games, but for Rondo, he will probably be back for the San Antonio game on Friday. I, I, I might be wrong about that. Uh, probably Thursday or Friday. And for Brandon Ingram, will possibly be back um, after the Spurs game. So uh, I can really expect maybe Lonzo Ball and Kyle Kuzma to step up as the role for replacements for Rondo and Brandon Ingram. Like I said in my last video, that they're going to step up or they probably would play it uh, sort of differently. I'm not so sure. Maybe possibly Michael Beasley could um, be the starter. I'm not so sure about that. But uh, obvious choice will be um, Lonzo Ball and uh, Kyle Kuzma. So, guys, uh, give me your thoughts about um, their suspensions. Do you guys think it should have been more? Or maybe you're just glad that it's possibly less. I was glad that it's less. I sort of was wondering that that uh, if it was going to be much um, maybe possibly uh, more than expected but I'm really glad it's just only up to three games for Rondo and only four games uh, I'm really surprised it's only four games for Brandon Ingram because you know at one point I really thought he was really aggressive and you know he just lose, really was out of control um, I was sort of hoping uh, not hoping but expected that um, 
that they were going to give him maybe possibly more than just four games. But I'm really glad it's, uh, it's really that short. I mean, it's just a couple. It's just poss it's just a week. So um, I know the the Lakers can step up and possibly win us some games. So during that time, once uh, Rondo and Brandon Ingram returns from their suspension and. Um, um, as concerns for like the Houston Rockets, um, I'm not sure how they're going to handle it, but uh, um, you know, he, he's only uh, Chris Paul is going to be gone for only two games, which I sort of sort of hoping that he could have gotten maybe three instead of two, but obviously uh, the person who really started it was Rondo, and just uh, or maybe it was Brandon. It was so confusing, actually, guys, about the whole brawl, but you know. Uh, I'm really glad it's just less of a sentence than expecting possibly more, but um, it is what it is. So guys, uh, comment down below, give me your thoughts, and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Uh, let's just hope that the Lakers can come back from this without Rondo and Brandon Ingram. Peace.